Hi guys, I am Dr. Shruti Ajmera and I welcome you to Brainwide. So as you all know that COVID cases are increasing day by day. So we need to have correct information about what to do and what not to do. In this video, we will discuss about everything that you need to know about plasma donation. So first of all, what is plasma? So blood has two components, cells and liquid. If you remove all the cells, then the remaining liquid is called as plasma. The major component of plasma is water, that is about 92%. And other than that, there are salts, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and antibodies. Now the question arises, why the Indian government is urging people to come forward for plasma donation. Suppose you had an infection, your body will fight against that infection by making antibodies. After recovering, the antibodies are stored in plasma and this is called as convalescent plasma. By donating convalescent plasma, you are actually helping a patient who has weak immune system. However, the doctors are still divided about the effectivity of this therapy. But if you look onto the observational data by India's best doctor, this therapy can be useful in mild to moderate COVID patients. It will help them to recover faster and stop the severe illness. Now we need to know who can donate plasma. So first of all, you should have positive COVID test reports. So if you're going to the donation center, you should carry your reports. Then they will check your blood for another infection like HIV. Second, if you have recovered from COVID, you should not have symptoms for at least 14 days before donating plasma. Third, if you are a male between the age of 18 to 50, then you can donate plasma to any patient. If you are a female between the age of 18 to 50 and you have never been pregnant, then only you can donate plasma to any patient. But if you have been pregnant, then you can donate the plasma to the female patients only. Now, who should not donate plasma? People below the age of 18 are not eligible to donate the plasma. Second, if you have alcohol and aspirin in your blood before 24 hours of the plasma donation, then you are not eligible for donating plasma because they act as blood thinner. Third, if you have chronic diseases like uncontrollable diabetes and kidney failure, then you are not advised to donate plasma. Now the question is, how often can we donate plasma? So you can donate plasma two times in seven days. And between these two times, there should be a gap of two days. Suppose if you are donating the plasma on Monday, then you can donate it on Wednesday. Okay, so there is a two days gap between them. Now, what is the process of plasma donation? Plasma donation is very much similar to blood donation. The technician will prepare your arm with antiseptic and put the needle to draw out the blood. Then the plasma is separated from the blood by centrifugation process. So plasma donation is very safe. So if you can save one life, then there is no reason why you should not do it. So guys, if you have any query regarding this, you can write down in the comment section. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.